So I'm educated. Well, yes, I went to Amherst. I love it when women go to school. It's like seeing a monkey on roller skates. It means nothing to them, but it's so adorable for us. It's a comedy making fun of dictators. Sasha Baron Cohen's newest movie, The Dictator, is one of three new movies this weekend. It actually opened Wednesday, and our movie guy, Aaron Lafferty, well, let's just say he was in the front of the line, and he saw it, and he said, save your money. Right? I wasn't not in the front of the line. I was not in the front of the line. Um, I wouldn't say I hated this movie. I just really didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you guys would either. No. Mm -hmm. If that was a little bit of an idea. <laughs> that was a taste that's, of it right that's there. That's the tip of the iceberg. Yes, exactly. I mean, there's some things I, I can't even show you on TV. It's rated R. Things. It's rated R. It's mm -hmm. a, this is a strong R. This is mm -hmm. a hard R. This is a, it's mostly for uh, the innuendos yeah. and the language. Okay. Um, you're, it's not violence or anything like that. Uh, basically, Sasha Baron Cohen, he's a, a dictator from a North African country. It's a fictional country. Um, unlike Borat, which is more like documentary style and certainly much funnier, uh, this is more of a you know, scripted uh, feature length kind of movie. Uh, it's only 83 minutes, which I think is one of the best parts of the movie. <laughs> they don't have to Maybe suffer through it for very money. long. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to suffer through it. Uh, you know, if, if you like Sasha Baron Cohen movies, you'll probably like this movie. Mm -hmm. If you don't, don't go see it. Okay. Okay. Just don't waste your time on it. It's 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 offensive. It's stereotypical. It's racist. It's oh. it's all these things. It is you know, all those jokes that they, you know they say you go right up to the line on most movies. They run past the line. So on this how much money is it going to make? Probably thirty. Thirty million dollars. Yeah. Okay. Wow, yeah. that's a sad statement, isn't it? But it but it won't it won't come close to the Avengers. Mm. Okay. Even if okay. the Avengers loses half of its audience. It'll still do fifty million dollars. Okay. Weekend, okay. So. All right. All right. So let's move on. A uh, couple other movies available. Um, so you got the Avengers are, are holding over in their third week. Mm -hmm. uh, Battleship is the big blockbuster coming out this week. Um, you've got this this cast, uh, the, which includes Taylor Kitsch from Friday Night Lights, uh, Liam Neeson, obviously well known. Rihanna's in this movie. Brooklyn Decker's in this movie. Uh, this is loosely based on the board game Battleship. Obviously, there's no aliens in the in the board game. Basically, uh, there's an attack from uh, an extraterrestrial being and uh, an armada of ships, led, of course, by the battleship, has to take on these uh, alien forces. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Rated PG-13, so what it's a What are you reading audience. about it? Uh, it's getting mixed reviews. Okay. It's, it's, you know, it's all over the place, so hmm. we'll, we'll see how it does. Okay. Um, I think it'll be number one this weekend, except for maybe the, the Sasha Baron Cohen fans might push Dictator Pass because it's getting bad reviews. Sometimes people go out and show their they're forced with dollars mm. because of bad reviews. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. It'll either be Battleship or, or uh, maybe this next movie, What to Expect When You're Expecting. This yeah. is what okay, I've waited for a long hey, time. I've been uh, channeling this for a while. Yeah. In recent years. Oh, yeah. I've like read this book. Bible. Right. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. the, the book, that, <laughs> the book. That, that most people know about, What to Expect When You're Expecting. Uh, this is a story of five uh, interconnecting stories. You know, we've, we've seen this before with other movies, mm -hmm. Rachel. Um, <laughs> Five a bunch of different stories. Yeah, five, you got five couples, including Jennifer Lopez, uh, Cameron Diaz, Elizabeth Banks, Brooklyn Decker, and Dennis Quaid. Um, basically, they're all expectant parents, and uh, you know, they obviously there's certain degrees of, of, of hardships with their uh, with their stories. Mm -hmm. And then there's also this uh, group uh, led by Chris Rock, and they're like all these fathers that have been through it all, and they're telling the new dads how it works out. So it's an ensemble comedy. Again, not the best reviews. It's PG-13. Uh, you know, it's probably more geared towards a certain audience, just like the dictator's more geared towards mm -hmm. a certain audience. Okay, so it's the same title as the very popular book. Right. Is it in any way, is there a collaboration there, or is it just I kind of... I think it's just loosely based Loosely on based on, okay. Yeah. It's probably all the funny stuff about parenting that you're like, oh my goodness, I right. had no idea about that. Yeah. Probably something that I might enjoy, because <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of in the middle right. of it yeah. right now. And, so, and so your husband the, would enjoy it too, probably. Yes, probably. Some of, the, you know, some of the parents have the more difficult situations, and some of them have the easier situations. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously it yeah. can go, you can learn from it. In As in life, everybody has a different story and different circumstances regarding, you know, their family family life and how they bring up their kids. Mm -hmm. Yep, right. absolutely. Okay. So, since I'm not really sold on any of the movies that mm -hmm. are new this weekend, You're I thought I'd, giving suggestions. I thought I'd give you a suggestion. Okay. I love and, the Aaron suggestion. And it's also a, a value suggestion for you because only for four dollars this weekend, starting today at Woodland Theater, 21 Jump Street has now moved over to, to Woodland Theater. It's been it's been kind of uh, you know rolling through uh, the other theaters. Now it's uh, at the four dollar Woodland. Um, we're talking uh, 21 Jump Street. You know the original show right. on Fox. Uh, it was a serious 
this was a comedy, and I thought it really worked as a comedy. Right from the beginning, they, they make no bones about it. This is a comedy. You also get a, a cameo from Johnny Depp, who was originally in 21. Is that Jonah Street. Hill? Yep, Jonah Hill. Okay. Uh, you also get uh, uh, Holly Robinson Pete, who was in the oh, original. Oh, yeah, she was in the original. So, <laughs> yeah. so you get some cameos there. That's fun. Um, so Jonah Hill and Shane Tatum play these two officers who uh, aren't really good at their job. So they, because they are younger looking, they send them to high school and do the whole 21 Jump Street oh, okay. undercover program. Oh, okay. Interesting. Again, it is rated R, so just be aware of that. Um, Mostly for language, and uh, it's it's a it's a fun movie. You know, for four dollars, uh, you you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's it's funnier than the dictator. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right. Some other suggestions too. Anything old school? Um, yeah. Let's let's go back to 1995 uh, for my pick uh, rental suggestion. I know Christine really loves this movie too. I our love producer. this movie. This is one of my um, all-time favorites. This this is one of those movies, The Usual Suspects. That if it's on cable and I'm flipping the channels, I will stop and watch however much is left of this movie. I've and never seen it. Terry, you said you've you never seen it. You gotta see it, Terry. This, I, this is a mystery good. thriller. It's a, it's a crime drama kind of a thing, where uh, you've got these five con men and they're rounded up. Uh, there's a, a hijacking of a truck and they're, they're all brought in for questioning. Uh, none of them had anything to do with it. And then as the story goes on, and I don't want to give it away, um, there's there's this big time crime boss that's somehow connected to all their stories oh. and there's kind of a, a payback job that he comes to them to ask to do mm -hmm. and they're all uh, in this situation. Kevin Spacey won uh, Best Supporting Actor in this role and he's, he's, great in this movie. He's, uh, he's one of the con men that's involved here and uh, the screenplay also won for Best Oscar. So this is from 95? 95. 95. That's a throwback. It's yeah. a throwback. One kind go, of like switches in time, you know, present, yeah. going back yeah. and really just explain something or like, oh, Oh, it all comes together right. in the end. There, there's a big twist. I'm not going to give it away. Yeah. But it's, okay. it's totally, totally awesome. <laughs> all right. And you have a, we have a giveaway coming up? There's, there's a giveaway. Um, also, um, if, if you've missed any of this or have any more information, it's on my blog. Um, okay. all, the, all the movies that are coming out this week and all the movies that are on DVD. Um, those, you know, there's a couple good ones, which uh, I'll come up with one of my picks this uh, coming weeks. is The Gray is out. Chronicle. Oh. Uh, Glenn Close, Albert Knobs is out. And then uh, also know that uh, Waterfront, uh, we got Virginia in a couple okay. weeks. Oh, wonderful. And then Looking the, forward to the that. week after that, on the 22nd, I think it is, uh, Virginia then comes to theaters. So. Wonderful. Yeah, well, okay. West, and West Michigan if, movie. If you're not following Aaron on Twitter, you really have to because it's a treat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you know, you gotta, you got to put it out there. I, you know, any, any kind of nuggets of information, 140 mm -hmm. characters or less, it's, yes. it's, it's easy. So mm -hmm. It's great. Twitter. <laughs> yeah. And we have a chance for you out there to win some passes mm -hmm. to a special advanced screening of Snow White and the Huntsman. That's right. It's Tuesday, May 29th at the AMC Star in Alpine in Grand Rapids, uh, 7 o'clock. If you're interested, go to our website, woodtv.com, look under the 8 West tab, and you will find the contest section. You have until Sunday at midnight to enter, and you'll need to pick up the passes here at the station. That's right. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, previews for this. So right. it might be good or bad. This, it's actually, I think this will be the better of the two Snow White movies okay. this year, and it's got Kristen Stewart from Twilight. And also remember, those advanced screening passes, those are first come, first serve. So yes. if you get them, get in line early, because sometimes they sell at that theater. Fantastic. So. Thanks, Erin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.